will call the August 5th, 2021 Davis County Fiscal Court meeting to order. If you would, uh, please uh, pray with me. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the gifts that we receive from you. We ask that you watch over the men and women who served in our armed forces as well as all of our emergency responders. Ask for wisdom and understanding for this court. Grant us humility in our everyday life and give us the courage to make the right decisions for our Davis County community. We ask all these in your name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Once again, I want to welcome everyone to our August 5th, 2021 Davis County Fiscal Court meeting. Uh, a couple of announcements. First of all, let me wish my son, William, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Will. I'm not going to tell you how old he is today. He would shoot me. Also, my great nephew, my great nephew's birthday is uh, today, Bryson Parker. And happy birthday, great nephew. Uh, if you should have a question or comment during our meeting, uh, you can text, or not text, you can, what, email on Facebook Live where we're appearing. Is that how they do it, Jordan? Comment. comment. Just put a comment in there. Jordan will get that information to us. Or you can uh, contact us at 270-929-1010 by voice or text uh, with that question or comment, and we will try to get you an answer. If we can't, we'll get it to you later. The, close, the courtroom is closed to public participation. Again, we're at, as of yesterday, I didn't get to check today, but we were at 45 cases per 100,000. We haven't seen that number since February of, last, of this year, and we actually didn't get into that number, that high number, until about the end of October, 1st of November of last year. So uh, if I have one thing to say, I would encourage all of you to uh, get your vaccine. If you have concerns, I don't have a problem with that. We're not going to try to vaccine shame anybody, whether you've gotten it or haven't gotten it. Uh, but I would suggest perhaps you talk to your personal physician, your family physician, and voice your concerns. Jenny, are you ready? Yes, sir. Item one, consideration for approval, A minutes, the July 15, 2021 Davis County Fiscal Court meeting. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Commissioners, you've all had a copy of the minutes uh, in your possession for some time. Are there any additions, deletions, or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. B, all claims for all departments. Motion approved. Second. second. Again, commissioners, uh, you all have had a copy of the, the bills due and payable by Davis County Fiscal Court in your possession for some time. Any questions of the treasurer? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. C, treasurer's report and settlement for the fiscal year 2021. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion second. Mr. Hendricks, tell us why we're doing this. This is the final report for this fiscal year. It consists of two pieces, the monthly report you normally see, and then a document entitled the Treasurer's Settlement. Instead of presentation, it's, it's on the approval agenda uh, because this is the fourth quarter and it is the final uh, financial statement for the year. The cash balance at the end of the year is 54,210,728. General funds, 19,866,408. Uh, just to refer to the treasurer settlement, which is a requirement for the treasurer to complete at the end of the year and, or the month he leaves, the, uh, there's a letter that I would refer to that says that I certify that I've compiled these statements in accordance with the requirements of the state and of the Government Accounting Standards Board uh, that there are supplementary schedules reflecting actual revenue and expenditures by account and compared to the budget, that the financial statements were prepared on a prescribed basis of accounting that demonstrate compliance with the regulatory basis of accounting, which is a comprehensive basis that's required by the state, and they are not generally accepted accounting principles. Uh, so the funds and all the accounts have been uh, properly prepared. I have reconciled all the bank statements, all cash, 
uh, has checked out and is where it should be and prepared uh, statements showing the operations uh, of the, for the year. The finances are good. We did as, as well as we had projected in the budget or better. Uh, obviously, the, the CARES money reimbursement improved our financial position. So the financial position of the county is good. The statements are prepared accurately and correctly. They have uh, passed the DLG's initial testing for uh, balances and, and whether or not the balances are correct, and they've already actually been posted. And then we'll be getting ready for the audit, which should uh, begin sometime in September. Therefore, I recommend or request your approval. Commissioners, any question or comment? County Treasurer, would it be fair to say that we have money in the bank and pay our bills on time? Most of them. All right, that's all I wanted to hear. There are no other questions or comments. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion carries. Defund transfers. Motion is approved. Second. second. I have a motion second. Mr. Hendricks. Request uh, the authority to make the following fund transfers. $589,600 from the general fund to the bond fund for the public safety radio system, $1 million from the general fund to the road fund, $1 million from the general fund to the jail fund, $116,500 from the general fund to the bond fund for operations center, $369,000 from the jail fund to the bond fund for the detention center debt, and $600,000 from the general fund to the convention center uh, or to the bond fund for the convention center. These uh, fund transfers were all budgeted. They're, they're normal, and I request your approval. Question or comment, commissioners? David, so far we haven't had any questions. No. All right. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I might add that there's typically, what, a 30-second delay Jordan, between the time that this goes out and anything we get. So if we get it, just interrupt me, or I will go back if there was a question and, and we had moved on. Next item, Jenny. E. Davis County Fiscal Court rate schedule. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Mr. Johnson. Yes, Judge. A quick correction at the very top of the page that you all have. The effective date should be August 5th, 2021. This schedule is to approve rates being charged for goods and services at the Parks Department, Animal Shelter, Landfill, and the upcoming spay-neuter clinic. Uh, for the landfill, it should be noted this schedule includes only compost and hay. The tipping fees actually appear on a separate schedule. This list is reviewed annually with department heads and Treasurer Hendricks and is updated accordingly. I would recommend approval. Uh, don't we do this pretty much on an annual basis or a semi-annual? We review them quite regularly. Yes, sir. Okay. Question or comment, commissioners? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. F, Resolution 11, 2021, and Rural Secondary Road Program Flex Funds Agreement. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion to second. Mark, I know you don't like to explain much of anything, but you're going to have to talk to us about this. Sure will, Judge. Uh, this is a standard agreement that we, we do with the highway department uh, or the uh, rural secondary, uh, rural municipal aid department. It is for resurfacing of rural secondary uh, roads in Davis County, uh, Davis County roads. It is in the amount of $340,730. Um, the roads that we are uh, we have submitted and they have accepted uh, are roads that we have already approved earlier this year for resurfacing. They are Bowler Road, uh, Carlton Drive, and Jack Hinton Road. Uh, if there's any questions, I'd be glad to answer. If not, I'd recommend approval. Commissioners, question or comment? Mark, real quick, what is a rural secondary road it's a classification that the highway department uh, uses uh, for their their state highways uh, they've got uh, uh, primary routes uh, major highways and then they have more rural highways which are rural secondary they typically classify all uh, county roads as rural secondary kind of like our own county roads correct right okay any other question or comment there being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. G. Lease agreement with the Friends of the Ohio County Animal Shelter 
FOTS Rescue and Davis County Fiscal Court for Davis County's temporary use of the FOTS Rescue Hartford, Kentucky Spay Neuter facilities. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion and a second. <laughs> Mr. Smith, explain it to us. Yes, since, um, as you all know, uh, Dr. Gray has joined our staff uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, however, we do not have our uh, spay-neuter clinic constructed yet. Um, the market for veterinarians was, was obviously pretty tight, so we wanted to get our veterinarian as soon as we could. Um, we are, I think, due to go out for bid, have the designs at the end of this month, early next month, and we hope to award the bid, I think, later September. Uh, at the last meeting in September. So uh, we will need to uh, rent some space uh, to do these clinics, uh, to do these operations. So uh, Dr. Gray is very familiar with the uh, clinic in uh, Hartford, Kentucky. She has uh, worked there before on uh, off, off days, on vacation days for her. So this facility is ready to go. All we have to do is, is buy the supplies that we would buy normally just for our building. The uh, terminal lease is four months, beginning it, at some point. Beginning is, you know, as soon, soon as, as possible, possible, as soon as we approve it and they okay. sign it. Um, and the four-month term uh, is also renewable month to month okay. after that at our discretion. So if, if something holds up the construction of the building, okay. um, then we should be able to extend it by another month. I know that I've had quite a few comments on it. People are very excited that Davis County has decided to, to do this. Um, to, I know that uh, I've had at least one county approach us about using our vet because vets are so tight, as you said, everywhere. So I think it's a good move on behalf of fiscal court. Yes, Commissioner. I was just going to ask on this clinic we're going to rent, what do they usually do with it? It's used as a spay neuter clinic. It's just not open every day of the week. Okay, so we're just going to fill in the. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Any other questions or comments? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. H. Proposal for presentation 2021 Land Farm Annual Report by Weaver Engineering. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second, Mr. Smith. Yes, this um, is a proposal to prepare the uh, 2021 Land Farm Report. Obviously, by the name of it, I'm sure you all understand it's an annual report. We have to uh, go in the state, as you all are familiar with, the, the land farming operation, we put down sludge, organic material, to help boost the nitrogen levels of the uh, strip mine ground. The state is, is very particular. They don't want us to overload the nitrogen and cause it to run off. So we have to, uh, every time before we plant and after we plant, we have to do soil testing of the ground. At the end of the year, we have to go in and then do all of the reporting to show how, uh, what the levels are. What, what makes this especially difficult, and apparently uh, our consultants are going to talk to their uh, counterparts in Frankfurt, believe it or not, this form has to be hand filled out. It is huh. not in an electronic format. And every year, these numbers, they have to be re-inputted. So in other words, whatever we did in 2018, they're having to rewrite again for the 2021 report. So it is a very tedious um, process, unfortunately. It would seem uh, like they could scan that thing, make a document out of it, and fill in the blank. <clears throat> it's not the way the state works. The, ju the judge is very familiar with the fact that you put a comma out of place on a state, oh, yes. on anything. The state yeah. requires it to be in a certain format. Uh, David, I see where it's $5,850 that's cost of the contract. How does that compare with the last time that we did this? It, it did increase, oddly enough, um, because this is a fixed price contract. They had not calculated the amount of time it was going to take to do this Redo third report. The, yeah. And so they actually, uh, it's, it is a like a thousand dollar increase partly because it should have been five hundred dollars more last year and they didn't realize it uh well it's a good program uh i think it's a premier program in the state i don't know that there are a lot more of them anywhere in west kentucky <laughs> anyway there may be that i'm not aware of but uh, i think it's a feather in our cap that we can take that sludge out of the contained landfill and get some good use out of it question or comments 
There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, David. Next aye. item. Aye encroachment permit with KYTC to install a tornado siren pole at Roy Clark Road and Highway 144. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion. Second. Jordan, you want to tell us about this? I thought that we had tornado sirens in all the right places, according to EMA. Did they just come up? Did they annex more property in the county? And well, the GIS department. Uh, showed two more locations that would be uh, critical locations for warning notification. The fiscal year 21-22 budget actually includes two new community warning sirens for Davis County EMA, which will go out to bid soon. This permit is required for one of the chosen locations, which is between U.S. Highway 144 and Roy Clark Road. This location is deemed a maximum coverage area that will notify approximately 370 address points. The intended siren will be solar powered and will not require any utility hookup. The permit is standard and I would recommend approval. Question or comment? So this is one of the two? Yes. Are we working on the second one? Yes. Okay. I mean, yes, sir. How, this, this says this would cover uh, estimated 370. I don't know if it's individuals or, or homes. Homes. Um, so do you know how many the second one would cover? Not yet. Not yet. 98. Okay, thank you. Any other questions or comment? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Jay, contract with Axiom Architecture for Kirtley Annex Renovation Design Services. Motion approved. Second. second. I have a motion and a second. Jordan. Yes, Judge. This contract is for the design services to renovate two spaces at the Kirtley Annex which will create an additional office and storage space for the county attorney offices. The fee is $1,550 for the services we need within the contract, and we do not expect the total project to exceed $7,000. Uh, there are budgeted funds in the facility accounts to cover this project. Legal staff and I have reviewed it. It is in order, and I would recommend approval. Well, I appreciate the fact that you did what I suggested you do and blame it on the county attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Question, questions, comments? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. D, Declaration of Covenants and Restrictions for LWCF Agreement number 2101558. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second, and this is one that I didn't look at, so who, got, who has this, Jordan? That's what I thought. This uh, agreement and deed restriction is a federal requirement uh, in order for us to receive the $74,601.77 match grant for the Horse Fork Creek Park Inclusive Accessible Playground. It only covers the 1.4 acres on which the playground sits. It lists the requirements of the county, which are standard. It simply states that we will maintain the equipment, keep the project area safe and open for public use, and not convert, dismantle, and or transfer the asset without first notifying the Department for Local Government. Legal staff and I have reviewed it. We have no issues and I would recommend approval. Commissioners, uh, I think everyone here would agree that that probably is one of the best projects that we as a fiscal court have ever initiated. Uh, the spray park, the playground for all, and eventually the new uh, restroom facilities are constantly used. It sits right in the middle of the urban suburban core of uh, Davis County in the city of Owensboro. And uh, there's not a time that I pass by there that there aren't kids standing and looking up at that bucket just waiting uh, for it to fall. Now I know uh, Commissioner Wathen the other day had a little film done out there and he said he was gonna have that bucket fall on him. Jordan, you told me he didn't do that. Dog going, I would have paid to have done, seen that, George. How much would you pay? Two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, now or? That sounds like my bid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started to say Charlie wouldn't bid more than two dollars for a cake or a pie. Uh, any other question or comment? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. L Public Safety Radio System Site Use Lease Agreements with VBS1 Assets LLC and Tillman Infrastructure LLC. Move to approve. 
Second. I have a motion and second, Mr. Johnson. Yes, Judge. As an update of our P25 digital radio system project, the project has stayed within budget and on schedule. All system user equipment has been delivered, tested, and programmed and is awaiting distribution and installation once the system goes live. Now, in order for the system to go live, uh, we require equipment on three tower sites within the county that will communicate with equipment at the central site of Radio Hill. The two leases presented here are two of those three required sites. The site use lease agreement with VBS1 Assets is to place our equipment on Vertical Bridge's existing tower as the southern site for the system. The lease is a $1,500 monthly rate with a 2% annual escalator, which means that over the 20-year estimated life of the system, that will be a total cost of $437,352.66. The lease is for an initial term of five years with five optional successive renewal terms for a total of 30 years. The site use agreement with Tillman Infrastructure is to place our equipment on Tillman's existing tower as the eastern site for the system. The lease is a $1,300 monthly rate with a 2% escalator, meaning over the 20-year estimated life of the system, that will be a total cost of $379,038.97. This lease is for an initial term of five years with four optional successive <clears throat> renewal terms for a total of 25 years. Truck Communications, legal staff, and myself have reviewed both agreements. They are in order, and I would recommend approval. Commissioners, any question or comment? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, <clears throat> motion carries. Elm Amendment Number 1 to Professional Services Contract with Trot Communications for Implementation Support of Public Safety Radio System. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion second. Jordan? Yes, Judge. We just discussed lease solutions for two of the three required sites for the radio system to ultimately function. These two solutions were for the eastern and southern portions of the county. When exploring leasing options for the final site, which would be in the western part of the county, the rental rate of every site that we reviewed over the life of the asset would vastly exceed the capital costs of constructing our own tower. So given that, the amendment presented here would increase our not to exceed price of our current system implementation contract with Trout Communications by $25,000. And for that amount, Trout would develop the technical requirements, RFP bid specifications, and provide oversight and the required inspections for the construction of a 250-foot tower at the West Davis County Landfill that will complete the system. Uh, the official site location at the <coughs> landfill would ultimately be selected once the survey of soil conditions and several potential areas is completed. If approved, we will move immediately to finalize the location and begin the bidding process for tower construction. I would recommend approval. The, we had looked at a tower we couldn't come to with Within it to terms with any existing tower, correct? Correct. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we were looking at quite a bit more than the other two sites that we agreed to lease. More than double. More than double per site. Do you have a, a estimated cost, just a really rough guess? And I know that you're not an engineer because he could give it to me exact. Uh, can you tell me roughly what our estimated costs on building our own tire would be? Our consultants gave us the figure of $525,000 to work off of. So that's okay. the comparative cost for a 20 year rental. Okay. So, and that's our tire and that's for 20 years or that's, that's for that. Well, that's our initial capital cost. And then after that, it's yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. And it's on our own property as well. Questions, comments? I think it's a it's the way to go. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose. Motion carries. And AmeriCorps host agency agreement benefiting Davis County Parks Department. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second, commissioners. We have several of these agreements for AmeriCorps workers. This happens to be one that will be utilized uh, by the Parks Department uh, in the form of administrative staff assistant. Uh, the cost is $5,750. That's the total cost for us, plus any mileage they might be reimbursed. It's a pretty good deal for the county, and it gets some folks into a pretty decent job. Any 
questions or comments. There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. O, revoke RFQ 6 2021 and award RFQ 11 2021 trap and skeet targets. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Jordan, why are we doing this? On July 1st, 2021, Fiscal Court awarded RFQ 06 2021 to CAC Associates in the amount of $15,689.83 for trap and skeet targets for the gun club. On July 2nd, a letter was sent to all distributors of white flyer targets notifying them of an immediate price increase. All the participants of RFQ 06 2021 <clears throat> rescinded their quotes at the proposed prices, and since the court made an award, we need to undo that award with a revocation of RFQ 06 2021. Now, you have in front of you RFQ 11 2021, which is for the provision of 1,386 cases of targets for the Davis County Gun Club with updated pricing in light of the notification, and this is the same amount of targets requested in the prior RFQ. We received three responsive quotes, ranging from $16,706.97 to $17,480.58, and recommend pursuing the low quote of CAC Associates in the amount of $16,706.97. This is a standard budgeted restock of targets for the gun club. The cost will be recouped by shooting fees. There were no exceptions to our solicitation, and I would recommend approval. Question or comment, commissioners? How much extra did it cost us for the targets? $1,017.14. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. P award the following RFQ 9 2021 surgical equipment, RFQ 10 2021 clay target support tower project. Bid number 14, 2021, bulk 12 gauge shotgun ammunition. Bid 18, 2021, one new single bell wrapper. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Jordan, let's do them like we always have. Talk about each one. Pause for a second and I'll ask for a question or comment. Yes, sir. Starting with RFQ 09 2021, this quote is for a standard startup order of surgical tools and equipment that will be required for alterations and surgeries at our intended spay neuter clinic. It includes various canine and feline spay packs, surgical kits, ophthalmic kits, forceps, scissors, saws, etc. I would note that our veterinarian will require these tools to operate out of the Ohio County Clinic for the lease term covered earlier in the agenda. We received four responsive quotes, ranging from $9,938.40 to $14,516.16, and recommend pursuing the low quote of Steris Animal Health in the amount of $9,938.40. This is a budgeted provision. There were no exceptions, and I would recommend approval. Uh, commissioners, questions, comments? I assume since uh, Dr. Gray and uh, Ms. Thompson's name are down there, they're in agreement? Yes. Next item. Uh, RFQ 10, 2021. Uh, the three quoted services prevented here are to construct and complete a clay target support tower at the Davis County Gun Club. We are recommending the low quote of Pat O'Brien Electric in the amount of $8,700 for electrical services, the low quote of on-time fab in the amount of $1,650 for welding services, and the low quote of stair crane and rigging in the amount of $1,680 for crane services. The project, uh, projected services total is $12,030. It should be noted that $10,450 worth of materials and services have been donated towards the project, including two 40-foot I-beams donated by Modern Supply, professional design services donated by Gardner Engineering and Regal Engineering, and excavation work donated by Big Rivers Electric. There were no exceptions, and I would recommend approval. Questions, comments? Next item. Bid number 14, 2021. This bid is for the provision of bulk 12 gauge shotgun ammunition for the Davis County Gun Club and includes 150,000 shells total. We received five bids ranging from $33,950 to $59,940 and recommend award to the lowest and best evaluated bid submitted by Botosh Incorporated for the Aguila Ammunition 
in the amount of $33,950. This is a budgeted restock. The cost will be recouped by ammunition sales. There were no exceptions, and I would recommend approval. Question or comment, commissioners? Next item. Bid number 18, 2021. This bid is for one new single bale wrapper for the land farming project at the West Davis County Landfill. It will be used to preserve the hay that is produced through the project until it can be sold to the public. We received two bids, ranging from $23,876 to $26,999, and recommend award to the lowest and best evaluated bid submitted by H&R AgriPower Incorporated for the 2021 Vermeer SB 8500 unit in the amount of $23,876. This was a budgeted item. There were no exceptions, and I would recommend approval. Questions or comments? Commissioners, we've had a motion and second to award the bids that our purchasing agent just recommended. So if there are no questions or comments, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item. Q, hire Tony Rowe as seasonal park attendant effective upon successful completion of pre-employment screenings. Move to approve. Second. second. I have a motion second. Uh, I assume, Mark, that this is a replacement for our Sherry, whoever, this is a replacement for someone? Yes, we had someone leave and this is a replacement. Okay. Any uh, question or comment, commissioners? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Welcome on board, Tony. Next item. R, reappoint to the Davis County Animal Care and Control Board for a term of 8-7-2021 to 8-7-2025, Patty Martin, Dr. Patrick Mark, Rihanna Johnson, Carol Alvey. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion and second. Commissioner, some of these folks, or all these folks, as a matter of fact, have served on the, uh, on the Animal Control Care and Control Board. Um, I might note that Dr. Patrick Marsh is the son of the senior Marsh, Elder Marsh, who passed away and had served uh, many, many years with us and also performed vet work. Uh, I want to thank all those folks for their service down. I know they'll do a good job going forward. Any question or comment? There being none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Two, consideration for discussion. A, first reading of KRC A.101, 2021, an ordinance relating to the adoption of the 2021 Davis County tax rates. Commissioners, this will be the first reading. There is no vote. Uh, the second reading, we will have a public hearing for any comment regarding the tax rates. Uh, Mr. Hendricks, do you want to talk to us about it? Certainly. Each year the fiscal court is required to pass an ordinance as to what its taxes are for that calendar year. Uh, even if there's no action taken, you're still required to, to, to pass the ordinance. We received the information of assessment from the state and from the Department of Local Government. I reviewed that information with each of you. Um, we were allowed to raise our rates to 4%. The real property rate would be higher. The resultant calculation of personal property rate would also be quite a bit higher than what we currently have on the books. But after a, a review of both the current financial position for the county and our expected financial position for the next couple of years, uh, the preference that was indicated to me was to leave all of the ad valorem rates the same as last year with no increase. So I've reviewed that. My opinion is that leaving the rates the same as last year will absolutely generate enough revenue for us to manage the fiscal year 22 budget. So I see no negative issue uh, from that. Therefore, I have prepared this tax ordinance with all the ad valorem rates staying exactly the same as they were the prior year. The real rates in this ordinance uh, are 13 port, 0.4 cents per hundred dollars of value. The tangible personal property rate is 16.37 cents per hundred dollars of value. The motor vehicle rate stays the same at 17 cents. And the watercraft rate, which both of those are through the county clerk's office, uh, that, that also stays at 17 cents. This is the first reading and we will have second reading August 19th. 
Second reading and a public hearing if there is public comment. Yes. Okay. Commissioners, question or comment? Next item, Jenny. B, other business to be brought before the Davis County Fiscal Court. I'm not I don't have any. C, public comments. This is a time during which we would ask the public to step forward to the podium, but since there is no public, we do have a representative that will convey any comment the public made to us. Yes. So, um, Zach Farrell uh, asked for an update on the Panther Creek Park Water Tower and Gardner Engineering. We have no update. We are in the process of getting a contract with a structural engineer, Mark. Or we, we already have the contract. We already have that and we're waiting for him to do his review. Correct? Correct. Correct. Okay. Any other comments? No. All right. Next item, Jenny. Comments by Davis Fiscal Court. Commissioner Caslin. Pass. Uh, Commissioner Wathen. Pass. Commissioner Coger. Pass. Uh, and I also I actually, pass since I, I, I actually can I throw something in? Yes, absolutely. I, I was I know the school season is about to start, and I I was just going to encourage people to be cautious as you drive through the school zones. Uh, you know, a lot of kids are going to be uh, walking in areas where we're not used to seeing them walk, and I would just encourage you to be aware of that and be cautious as you make your normal uh, trips. That's all. Okay, and I'm going to pass as well since I have to meet someone for a birthday supper. Uh, if there's no other business to be brought before Davis County Fiscal Court, without exception, we're adjourned.